today is about designing your future. So we'll talk about why you would do this, how to do it, and when to do it. So designing a future is mental rehearsal. Why would you do it? Every single successful person mentally rehearses. Other statistics of athletes particularly out there show that when they have some sort of injury and they're not able to get out on the field and, and do what they would normally do, that if they mentally rehearse for as many or more hours than they would have been physically doing that activity every day, then their body helps repair itself so much quicker and when they do get out there on the field, they to some degree are even fitter than they were. And that's because the body is using every muscle that it would have been when they were physically doing that activity. So I really do encourage you to have a go at this. Your brain needs clarity and certainty. It needs to know that what you are going to do is safe. The changes along the way and what you want to get there in the end. It needs to know that you are determined, that you're motivated, that there is no confusion, nothing that's going to hold it back from achieving the goal that you want. Because your brain needs to engage all of those emotions as part of the um, next step up the brain. So we've talked a lot about what the reptilian brain needs. The limbic system needs lots of evidence in the way of pictures that you can achieve this goal and really using all of your emotions because nothing happens in your life without first have happened in your imagination. And your brain doesn't know the difference between imaginary and real. This is why there are so many people out there who, that have fake memories um, because you tell your brain something every day or often enough, it will believe it. So why not give your brain some messages that are going to help you, know, you succeed? I a lot of people that they think, oh, imagination, you know, I, I can never imagine pictures. Please know that imagination is different for everybody. Everybody doesn't see in pictures. Um, and even if you do see in pictures, some people see in black and white and some people see in color and some people see in sepia. It really doesn't matter. Whatever is, works for you. Just go with whatever preference works the best. So for some people, it's about what they feel in their bodies, what sensations are going on, what emotions are going on. For other people, it might be particular sounds that they might hear, perhaps things that people might be saying or other types of sounds that are going on. And for some people, it might be more around what they're tasting or smelling or what's going on in your head, what self-talk you would be saying to yourself. Now, there'll be a time that I'll ask you to try and put in as many of the senses as possible to help your brain to really get the reality that it wants. So just work with what works for you. If you can't see pictures, don't fret, like just go with just go with something else. Just try and put in as many as you can. It only really takes potentially a few minutes um, to, to master this. I'll go through the steps with you because a lot of people think that it's just about ch achieving their end goal, but your brain needs more than that. It needs to know the process along the way. It needs to reinforce all of those um, things that you learned about the reptilian brain, that it's fun and safe and um, easy to do. So we'll, we will practice these steps, or at least I'll take you through what those steps are, and then I would like you to have a go at doing this. So please take some notes along the way of what the steps are and get some ideas around what you would do in each of these steps. It's a good idea to do this the first time you mentally rehearse um, and then when you go and mentally rehearse in the future, you'll have all of this. What you need to know before you mentally rehearse, well, the first couple of steps we've already covered off yesterday. Knowing your end goal and having it written out as if you've already achieved it. So as if it's the present day. So as an example, it is now the 31st of December 2017 and I am 
you know, 55 kilos or whatever it is that you wanted or the, the measurement size around your waist or the size clothing that you wanted and how you will be feeling, like, like how that will be at that point in time. Then the actions needed to achieve that. So yesterday you looked at writing some of those down. Then you need to know what trigger is going to cause the first action step to occur or the next action step that you need to do. So as an example, for you to be able to do physical exercise, well, the, the steps may be or the trigger may be as soon as you get out of bed in the morning, as soon as your feet touch the floor, you have your uh, workout gear ready in a corner that you've left the night before and you just get dressed and you're ready to go. So you need to know what that trigger is. It could be... Um, you know, an alarm that goes off, you've set an alarm or perhaps you notice when the clock gets to a certain time that that's the time that you need to start. You need to know what your trigger is for each of the activities to start. You need to know what feeling you're going to have when you're completing that. So remember, you want to, the brain to know that this is going to be pleasurable. So, you know, there'll be there'll be feelings of perhaps pride or um, you know that you're having fun make them really good um, really something that the brain is going to want and be motivated to do these because you're going to feel great while doing it and then what thoughts you'll be saying to yourself whilst you will be completing these so again we want them to be to be pleasurable things so you know well done oh you're looking hot or you know something that's going to keep you motivated and then you need to know what achieving your end goal will be like so I'll actually be getting you to step into that and really experiencing using as many different senses as possible so what you might hear you know different friends might be telling you things you know congratulations you look fantastic or um, you know, what you will be seeing. So perhaps seeing yourself in the mirror or seeing the um, weight on the scales, seeing the clothing that you are wearing. So really knowing what that end goal is going to, going to look like for you. Really experience it in all the senses. To complete the process, you will have your eyes closed and it's like you're going on a little bit of a journey. You're going in time travel. So you can do that any way you like, by helicopter, by balloon, by you know, back to the future car, whatever you like to get you there. But it's, it will be safe and easy for you to do. So with your eyes closed, I'll be asking you first of all to step into imagine yourself stepping into your goal and really experiencing achieving that goal notice what you will be saying to yourself in your own mind and how good it feels to have achieved it I'll ask you to adjust the submodalities which is like the senses so it's a little bit like having the remote control on your TV where you're adjusting the volume when you want something to be louder or softer. And also, your remote control is able to speed things up um, and you'll be looking at picture or sound and speeding those up if you need to to make it as real for you as possible. I'll ask you to adjust the brightness. It might need to be black and white or sepia or really vivid. And I'll get you to have a look at um, other things like the feeling that might be going on in your body. So what sensations, noticing where in your body you're feeling that and adjusting the intensity, turning it really high up so that you really get to understand what it's going to be like to achieve this fantastic goal. Then I'll ask you to step out of that, back into the, in the present, and then I'll ask you to bring to mind all of the activities that you need to complete in order to get there. So it might be you know, some of the activities that you'll be doing for your food, some for your physical activity, some for your emotional management, you know, some about getting support and um, improving your happiness. So thinking about what some of those activities are going to be and understanding 
what those triggers are. So I'll get you to bring that to mind, what the trigger is to start that. So physical activity, it might be as soon as you, your feet touch the floor or once you get out of bed in the morning that you get dressed into the clothes that you'd already prepared the night before and you start immediately. Or for food, it might be when the clock gets to a certain time. That is your time that you are ready to start preparing your food. So it's really getting in touch with those triggers and whilst you're in those doing those trigger events I'll ask you to be thinking about how you'll be feeling and what you'll be thinking whilst you're doing that so really making that feel pleasurable for you so that um, this is something that you want to continue to do so it might be you know oh well done that's awesome oh you're looking great um Oh, I feel really proud of myself. I'm feeling so confident. So really getting in touch with your feelings at that point in time. Then I'll ask you to step out of that. And I'll ask you to get in your time machine, to travel in time, to go back to your goal. So knowing that all of those triggers, all of those activities are going to take you there in that time machine, in that balloon or helicopter, however you're going to travel, it's going to take you there. And when you get to that end goal, I'll ask you to um, disassociate this time. So instead of actually doing this and feeling this yourself, I'll ask you to see yourself like you're watching a movie. So see yourself at that end goal and see, you know, how confident you are, how um, amazing your life is, like all the different activities that you'll be doing whilst you're, whilst the fact that you've achieved that goal. Then I'll ask you to take a look behind you, back into the past and notice that all of those activities that you started to do are now, they're just even like it's habitual for you now. So watching all of that happen like that movie and fast forward going boom, 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 and there you're at your goal. And then I'll ask you to um, look into the future and you'll notice that Everything in the future is now brighter. You've got all this extra confidence and vitality in your life. How is this is going to change your life and potentially the lives of others? Because you're now just that much more of a healthy role model to your family and friends and can teach them and show them the way. Then I'll ask you to come back to the present and then you would do that process all again. So I have an audio for you of this, which I'll get you to download and have a go at completing this. So I'd suggest just to spend a few minutes every day and I would suggest to do this when your unconscious is the most pliable, which is in a semi-conscious state. So just before you fall asleep at night, when you're in bed with your eyes closed to do this and then later when you um, wake in the morning with your eyes closed to complete it. So really get practicing with um, this. Have some fun. Remember, your brain wants things to be fun, simple. So please keep going with this. Commit to doing it every day. And you are bound to be successful. I'm Leanne Tag, Transformational Coach, reminding you that change can be easy and life-changing. Let me show you how.